Hi guys, welcome back to Kobe's Kitchen where we share simple, amazing recipes. You don't have to break a bun to create an amazing meal in your home. And homemade food does not have to be boring. Thank you so much for my new subscribers. Thank you so much for my returning subscribers. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for the support. It really means a lot. So today I'm going to be showing you how I'm revamping my kitchen garden because it means a lot to me and that's where I get most of my ingredients. Beet tomatoes, beet, my greens and everything else. So I really love that kitchen garden. So sit back of course, enjoy this video and let's head over to our kitchen garden. So this is the current situation of my kitchen garden that's why we want to revamp it because with this situation we definitely don't have a lot of produce to eat so we need to revamp this and have uh, we are going to be doing pyramids to our kitchen garden so enjoy the whole process and do not watch if you haven't subscribed so at this point i got some soil and manure uh, the red soil there and the manure on this other side. So what you're gonna do is just not me doing I have people doing it I they just combining the soil with the manure to ensure that you have fertile soil and putting it on those pyramids as you can see over there So we'll have to stack the we got the measurements of the pyramid before doing everything and then the, the pyramid is kind as a kind of a very hard paper that they did and uh, they they taped it over to form that big circle so they'll stack it over and pour in most a lot of soil and uh, to ensure there's no whole space and the soil is already combined with the manure so that is all you have to They are done with the stacking. I just did uh, six stacks of pyramids, and that's what we're gonna be do, be planting on. So that is the whole 
the, the, that's it that's it for the stacking of pyramids plus the manure plus the soil you see how neat it is it will actually hold more plants compared to just planting it on the ground as i had done before so i love it so far so i lost some footage while planting the seedlings oh they are already planted at this point and uh, you can see how they look like they are small but with time they're gonna be huge enough to yield more results so i love it so far i have planted some spinach kuma and some tomatoes as you can see and they are well spaced and so far i have a lot of plants in them and i love the outcome two weeks later these are the results and we are really happy with it and there are other skumas that we added but so far so good we can actually even harvest most of the spinach at this point and i just love it all you need to do is just water your pyramids over and over and uh, you'll be happy with the results so so far so good and maybe that's it for the pyramids so this is it for the pyramids and for my produce as you can see we have lots 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 of big hohos and uh, the nyanyas i love how they turned out they are super nice and i i obviously am saving a lot i don't have to go to the market to buy these products i can just have to plant them at home and have these amazing amazing plants so see you on our next one subscribe if you haven't bye bye